or fix it. Powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. This sounds crazy to say, but we are halfway through summer. Lou is back with some tips to keep your yard looking good. Well, here we are in July, and if your yard is looking anything like mine, it really is greening up and everything is bursting, but everything also needs a little bit of a trim. I've actually started to trim some of the bushes and the plants around our home, and actually I have the little slice in my finger to prove it. But take a look at things like your hostas. This is something around this time of year, the hostas could look great, but then some of them may not look that great. You'll see some discoloration, some burning on the end of the leaf. Leaves, you can just take some clippers and start to clip off those leaves that don't look so good and just kind of spend a little bit of time cleaning up those hostas and with just a few minutes of work you can bring them back to life and have them looking great all summer long it's a good idea to treat them with a little bug treatment uh, as well maybe once a month to keep the bugs off of it now if you have ornamental trees we happen to have a little Japanese maple you can do your best uh, Mr. Miyagi from uh, uh, Karate Kid for those of you old enough to remember and go very slowly with these plants you want to just clip off the dead branches that you see and then step back so you can make sure that you're not changing the shape of the plant this is true of any kind of trimming because when you're inside the weeds like doing this then you step back and you look like uh, you know you don't know what you've created and then the plant looks terrible and finally if you have hedges and you really want to do some trimming I'm sure there's a lot of shoots right now that are, are out of control and you can take a, a pair of head shears either by hand or this is a battery operated one that I'm using it does a really nice job to make pretty quick work of it just be very careful try not to overreach and make sure that you're taking time your time and also step back as well after you know working on it for five or ten minutes to make sure that you're not biting off more than you can chew all right, thank you, Lou. And of course, you can check out House Smarts on Saturday afternoons on WGN at 3.30. Lou is also on WGN Radio with his show House Smarts Radio. Catch it on Saturdays from 6 to 10 a.m. All right, another look at your forecast, Paul. Yeah.